I just wanna tell you that the new diet that I started a few weeks ago, I'm not doing that anymore. And basically what I'm changing my diet to right now for the time being is food that, so anyway, let's make a sandwich really quick and then let's go to the beach. I just think it's so beautiful. Sandwich time. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, we're gonna have a little picnic at the beach, and so I'm going to make my lunch with you. We're gonna go to the beach and hang out for a little bit, but first, really quickly, as quickly as possible, I just wanna tell you that the new diet that I started a few weeks ago, I'm not doing that anymore. Very long story short, I have a lot of dietary issues. I have a lot of digestion issues. I have a rare esophagus disease. I have a ton of food allergies and food sensitivities, and so figuring out the right diet for me that does not make me sick right after I eat, but that also is good and healthy long-term has been really, really difficult. I've been trying to figure it out for most of my life and it's, or at least half my life. And it's been just really, really difficult figuring out what foods make me sick and what foods are safe. And so I change my diet sometimes. And there are definitely some foods that I figured out I cannot eat, that I'm either allergic to or very sensitive to that I have just completely cut out of my diet. But I still do get sick semi-frequently, whether it's stomach issues right after I eat, whether it's esophagus issues right after I I eat or like exhaustion or nausea. And also I just have some more long-term issues that I'm dealing with, with inflammation and chronic fatigue and stuff like that. So it's kind of like acute symptoms right after I eat that I'm trying to figure out as well as just long-term health issues that I'm trying to figure out if I can help with my diet. And so there's just a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff that I'm trying to figure out with dietary changes. And I know that it's really, really, really different than most people because my body is just a little bit backwards, I would say. And so honestly, what I believe is healthy for most people and nutrient dense and all that kind of stuff honestly are things that my body personally I cannot handle and so does that mean that I have to just heal some stuff in my gut and maybe I can eat those things later maybe but also I might never heal the things in my gut because I do have a lot of chronic issues and so anyway there's a lot of food that is really healthy for the majority of people that my body actually can't digest. And so they're not actually healthy for me. And so again, I'm just really working on figuring out what the best diet is for me in terms of what I can digest, but that also I believe is healthy. And I've been trying to figure it out for a very long time and it's just really confusing and really overwhelming, honestly. But so a few weeks ago, I changed my diet to mostly meat and fruit because I really do believe that those are like two of the healthiest food groups that we can eat. But for me, after being on that diet for a few weeks, a really, really strict diet for a few weeks, I realized that that diet is not for me. And what I think it is, is that eating too much fruit makes me sick. I don't think that my body can handle fruit very well. I also don't think my body can handle vegetables really well, which again, I know is backwards to most people or to kind of what we hear in our society, but everyone is different. And I do have some really rare and specific things that I'm personally dealing with. And just so I know that my diet is going to look pretty different than most people. But I also know that some people watching this video also have some chronic illnesses and some chronic issues that you're dealing with. And maybe your diet also looks really different than what might be common or what might be possible popular, you know? And so, yeah, so I really wanted, I really, really, really wanted the meat and fruit to work out, but it didn't. I still was very sick after I ate. And obviously to figure out if that would have helped chronic issues, I would have had to stay on that for a very long time. But since it hurt me after I was eating, I don't think my body was even digesting those foods really properly. And so I don't think it would have helped long-term because even in the short term, I was still really sick. And so I decided a few days ago at this point to change my diet again. And basically what I'm changing my diet to right now for the time being is food that is kind of like my safe food. I don't personally really have many foods that are really, really, really safe, but I do have some foods that are usually safe, you know, that like usually when I eat them, I feel fine. And so honestly, at least for right now, I'm just gonna switch to that. And so yeah, some of my safe foods are, you know, like chicken and eggs. There might be a couple fruits and vegetables here and there. And so even though like we kind of think globally that fruits and vegetables are healthy, well, if I get sick after I eat them, then my body probably cannot handle them, you know? And so I have to look at an alternative route, which is really weird and confusing, but that's what I have to do personally. So yeah, so some of my safe foods are, yeah, like chicken and eggs and, you know, like sweet potatoes. And I think bananas might be safe. And what I'm gonna be making right now is a turkey sandwich because I have noticed that at least most of the time that I eat turkey sandwiches, I feel fine. And so, uh, yeah, it's just, it's a struggle of really trying to figure out what I believe is healthy 
and what I believe I can get nutrients from and vitamins from, which I do think, you know, eggs and chicken and, and meat and stuff is really good. And a couple of the fruits and veggies that I'm gonna have, but I also need to make sure that I'm eating food that I can digest. And that does not make me immediately sick right after I eat it. So it's still really a confusing journey and a confusing process, but we are just gonna continue to work on it. And yeah, so that's it. I'm done explaining it. That was even longer than I wanted to, but um, yeah. So basically I just am gonna be eating some safe foods. And honestly, I switched this diet a couple days ago to my safer foods and I have felt basically fine. Except for my, um, you know, what, four or five month long sinus infection that I've had at this point. Um, besides that, at least food wise, I have felt fine the last few days. And I've been eating, you know, some sandwiches and some eggs and potato chips, you know. So anyway, let's make a sandwich really quickly and then let's go to the beach because it's going to be like 80 degrees today. Early mid-February in Florida, 80 degrees, we're gonna go to the beach. So um, a, a lake beach, not an ocean beach because I'm a little far from the ocean. Not too, too far, but like far enough that I don't wanna drive there today. And there's a lake beach that's beautiful that I did show in a video from a couple months ago. It's beautiful and it's just a little bit closer. And so I wanna go there. So anyway, let's make a sandwich really quick and then let's go to the beach. Okay, so I'm gonna use this Udi's French baguette. This is probably my favorite gluten-free bread. Cause like I said, I have so many food allergies and this is probably my favorite gluten-free bread. I also really love the Canyon Bakehouse sliced bread. So if I wanna go sliced bread, I'm probably going Canyon Bakehouse. But if I wanna go not sliced bread, I'm probably going with this, uh, this Udi's French baguette. So I'm just gonna rip off just a small piece of that. And then I have some turkey, just the oven gold turkey from Boar's Head. I'm gonna put probably like three slices on here. Usually I rip out some of this extra. I'm gonna eat it. And then I have some spicy brown mustard. This is just the Publix brand. And I know, I know what you might be thinking, Katie, you can eat mustard? Yeah, I can. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. My body is just like, really, really, really different than what most people might expect, you know? So that's why it's just so important to not always just look at, you know, what diets are trendy or even what some just random doctor might say. Like you also have to listen to what your body is saying, you know? And I have had this turkey sandwich with just turkey, mustard, and bread so many times. And it, again, generally does not make me feel sick at all. Like, honestly, I can't even really think of a time that this has made me sick. So anyway, I'm also going to have a polar mandarin seltzer. You guys know I love LaCroix, but these are actually cheaper. And I thought that last year these made my esophagus hurt and the LaCroix didn't, but then I tried these again recently and I feel fine after drinking them. So again, that's another thing too. A lot of people with esophagus diseases and digestion issues and stuff can't have like bubbly drinks, but I can have them fine. So, okay. That is all I'm gonna have and I'm gonna bring some potato chips. I really wish I had cherries because I'm in the mood for cherries. And I had those recently just kind of by themselves and I didn't get sick from them. So I do think that there are gonna be a couple fruits that I can still have sometimes though. I'm not gonna have a lot of fruit because I really do think that it was making me sick. I don't know if it's the fructose in it or what, but anyway. Um, do I need, I was gonna put plastic wrap around it, but I think I can just do this. Yeah, that's good enough. All right. So I'm just gonna put all the stuff away and pack this up with the chips and stuff. And then we're gonna head to the beach. Take a drive and we leave the city. You grab my hand and say you wanna be with me. I tell you I'm not going nowhere. Seems like a pretty good place to drive. Hey guys, I just got to Waterfront Park in Claremont, I think is where I am. And I'm pretty sure I got the last parking spot. So I think everyone had the same exact idea that I did. But also, I think that there's some sort of like um, something happening, like an event happening. Because I think that I saw some people putting up like tables. So I don't know if there's like a farmer's market or something happening at like the end of the parking lot. I'm not really sure. But regardless, I want to go lie out and get a tan and um, put my feet in the water and eat my sandwich. So. Let's go. See like down there, someone has like a little U-Haul. There's some like signs and stuff. I don't know what's going on, but regardless, parking lot is full. Oh, <laughs> there's a spot right here. I guess someone just left. Parking lot is full, but I don't know where everyone is. Like there's only a few people sitting out. Oh, there's a bunch of people walking around and stuff. So just trying to think of like, there's so many cars, but I don't see a lot of people but I think a lot of people are like walking and bike riding and stuff. I'm going to lie out like right here. Yeah, so this is a lake. 
like in the middle of Florida. But I've been here, this is my third time that I've been here. I just think it's so beautiful. All right, wearing my hiking sandals, of course. My bag of food. Here's like my beach towel. I brought a sweatshirt to use as like a little pillow. The shadow is wild. How do I show you? Um, yeah, this is like my sunglasses and stuff in it, and my book, and then just my purse. The sun is behind me. How do I get the best camp? Do I have to like? I don't know, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's beautiful, it's beautiful out. I hope that the lighting in the video is okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat my sandwich yet. I wanna just like lie down for a little bit. Um, I'll show you the water and then we'll chat while I'm eating. Also, you know I'm gonna go in the water, by the way. Sandwich time. <laughs> There's a lot of people here now. It's like the perfect day. Like perfect beach day. No, 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 no. Like a wasp or something. He listened to me. He flew away. You guys know, like, I've never really been the biggest beach girl, but I want to learn how to, like, relax more and rest more. And I like doing things outside. And so I kind of want to, like, practice being more of a beach person, I guess. Anyway, I definitely ate some sand. I think that's just part of being at the beach. I hope you can hear me. But regardless, I'm gonna go lay down a little bit and I'll just talk to you a little bit later. Okay, hey guys, I was at the beach for a few hours and I got some color, which I like. And also remember earlier, I was like, oh, it looks like there's some event or something. I think it was some sort of marathon, I think. I took like a little video of like, it looked like it was like the finish line or something. Um, anyway, I'm out of breath because it's so warm out and clearly I'm out of shape. But yeah, anyway, so I just laid out for a few hours and um, ate my sandwich and put my feet in the water. It's a beautiful, beautiful day out. So now I'm gonna go and I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed just hanging out with me a little bit while I'm changing my diet again. And also I hope that you enjoyed just hanging out with me while I was at the beach. But please let me know in the comments if there's any other kind of food videos that you do wanna see from me. And I really hope that you're subscribed for these food videos. And then I have vlogs on Tuesdays and Fridays as well. And and yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Thanks again. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.